Today the seismic vessel is doing seismic surveying by use of air cannons and geophones. The raw data is stored on board the vessel. The raw data is sent on shore by either helicopter or boat. The data is processed by supercomputers that require large space and a lot of power. The result is a lot of seismic pictures as shown here. These pictures are then interpreted by geologists, resulting in a geological model of the area. Our idea is to cut both time from seismic surveying to a final geological model and people needed for interpretation. The main difference from today is that the supercomputers are localized on the vessel and computer programs are doing the interpretations. This is the way the seismic surveying is done today and we believe that in 20 years we will still use a sound wave traveling from an air cannon down to different layers in the Earth's crust where it is reflected and sent back to geophones recording the signal. By using modern supercomputers they use far less power than today. These can be installed on the seismic vessel. Also, new interpretation programs made by personnel with the greatest experience and knowledge within seismic interpretations will make sure that you get the best possible geological model with minimum possibility for human error. Since the data is processed on the vessel, they can easily be transmitted onshore by satellites. A seismic image will appear in a holographic representation directly as the collection of seismic goes on. When half of a given area is covered with seismic surveying, then half of the holographic representation can be viewed both offshore and onshore. This gives a lot of possibilities, like immediately change of area to be investigated, order exploration drilling, and reservoir engineers can start planning recovery strategies, etc. Time is money.